Hey guys, it's Austin from Hardware House. Today I'm going to be bringing you a $900 gaming PC build. This build will be able to run most AAA games at high to ultra settings, excluding poorly optimized games such as Ark Survival Evolved and Arma 3. Any high quality indie game will run like butter on this build, and you'll absolutely destroy games like CSGO, Dota, and League of Legends. You'll be able to do some mild editing, rendering, and maybe live streaming, but where this build will shine is at gaming. With that said, let's get right into the parts. We'll start off with the processor. For this build, we'll be using the i5-6500 3.2GHz quad-core from Intel. The Intel i5-6500 is a perfect budget CPU which will be able to chew up most new games with ease. It's not quite an i7, meaning that you shouldn't be focusing on rendering or live streaming if you're getting this, but it's still high quality. The processor has an LGA-1151 socket, which is currently exclusive to Intel's Skylake Edition processors. I have paired a motherboard which will fit perfectly with this socket. The price lands at about $205 on Newegg.com, which isn't bad for such a high quality processor. Next we'll be looking at the motherboard. I've chosen the Gigabyte GAH170 Gaming 3 ATX motherboard for this, and it lands at about $100 on Newegg. The Gigabyte GAH170's sleek red ATX motherboard which exclusively supports Intel Skylake LGA1151 CPUs. There are 4 RAM slots which support 288-pin DDR4 memory, up to 64GB. This is more than enough. The motherboard includes two USB 3.0 ports and four USB 2.0 ports on board, plus two extra 3.0 ports included in the case. In conclusion, this motherboard both looks good and gets the job done for just $100 on Newegg.com. The graphics card that we'll be using is the AMD RX 480 8GB model. This costs $270 on Newegg right now. AMD just released its new graphics card series, the RX series. The most expensive model in the RX series, the 480, is being called by many to be the best budget end graphics card for gaming to date. The version chosen for this build includes 8GB of VRAM, which is far more than most applications or programs even recommend. This will future-proof your card, meaning that you will be able to use your card for many years to come without being left behind by tech or programs. For the RAM, we'll be using the 8GB DDR4 Kingston HyperX Fury Black, which costs about $48 on Newegg.com right now. This RAM comes in two sticks, each one containing 4GB of memory, which will fit perfectly with our dual-channel motherboard. 8GB of RAM is perfect for a mid-range gaming build like this one, since most games don't use more than 6 or 7GB at one time. If you plan on doing lots of editing or using lots of different programs at once, you can choose to buy two sets of this RAM, boosting it up to 16 gigabytes. The motherboard will fit it. The RAM's sleek black color will fit perfectly with the red and black motherboard also. Like I said, this RAM costs about $48 on Newegg.com right now, which is a decent price. Now we'll be discussing the hard drives. The Western Digital Caviar Blue 1TB desktop drive will be the HDD where you save the bulk of your files. It costs $50 on Newegg right now. The Western Digital Caviar Blue is one of the most popular HDDs on the market right now. It has 1TB of storage which should store all of your images, videos, and lightweight programs including browsers, music players, and small games. You will save your operating systems and key programs for your solid state drive. For your solid state drive, we'll be using the Samsung 850 Pro 128GB for about $100 on Newegg.com. The solid state drive comes in five different sizes, 128GB, 256GB, 512GB, 1TB, and 2TB. Right now I would recommend just settling with the 128GB model, but if you have a lot of programs or games, you might want to go with the 256GB model, which costs only $40 more. You will be saving your operating systems, key programs, and maybe games on this drive, since SSDs have much faster load times than HDDs. The operating system will only be a couple of gigabytes most likely, so you'll have plenty of room to store four or five other large programs or games on there. The thing that will be powering this beast is the Corsair CX450 450 watt power supply. This power supply is modular, which means that you can detach all the power cords from the box if you don't have a need for certain ones. This modular design will let you remove any useless cords that may make cable management a hassle, which will improve air circulation and organization. The power supply is 450 watts, which will be more than enough to power a build of this size. This all comes for about $60 on Newegg.com right now. That's a pretty good deal. 
We'll be holding all of these parts in the Corsair 200R mid tower case for $60 on Newegg.com. This case is very simple but very attractive. It includes two USB 3.0 ports in the front next to the audio and microphone jacks. There's not much to say about this case since it isn't really that fancy, but it will get the job done and that's all that really matters. I will provide links to all of these items in the description below. If you guys have any comments or constructive criticism, please don't hesitate to comment down below. See you later.